Well, besides giving mom flowers, breakfast in bed can be such a meaningful gift and surprisingly simple, oh, too. No. Chef Dominica Catelli shows us the perfect ingredients. Okay, girls, I'm so excited you guys are here with me and we are cooking for one of the most mom delicious moms I know, which is your mom, one of my oldest and best friends. So we're gonna make her a delicious breakfast frittata and I need your help and I know how good you guys are in the kitchen. So you ready? Yes. Okay, we're gonna start with six eggs. So can you crack the eggs into this mixing bowl right here for me? You got it. The recipes are simple, they are healthy, and they're great because they can get the kids in the kitchen with you, which I love. It's anything, anytime you can get the kids involved early, it's just building a great relationship with food and for health. So now our next magic ingredient in this that makes it taste really good and a lot of people don't know that they can put into an egg dish is yogurt, and more specifically, Greek yogurt. All my recipes I use as a guideline, so I want you to get as creative as you want. I need you to take a big scoop of this and put it into the eggs for me. You can use regular yogurt as well, but Greek is so thick and creamy, and the organic non-fat means no extra fat, and it makes it a really rich dish, and it fluffs up nice, and it's just a simple additive. And we're gonna throw in cheese. We have grated Monterey, organic Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna help you out. There we go. Get a big pinch of salt, and we're gonna stir Stir, stir. Another one. Give me one more pinch. Chives. Time is fantastic with eggs. Okay, girls, we're gonna put this in the oven for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna, while this is cooking, we're gonna finish up your mom's special breakfast in bed tray. Okay, girls, we're gonna make a simple parfait for your mom now. What I'm gonna have you do, Mo, is you start with the plain yogurt and just give me a scoop in there into the little dish. And also agave nectar. It's, if you don't know about agave nectar, it's one of my, it is my favorite natural sweetener. It comes from the cactus plant. That's gonna make it a little sweet, because this is unsweetened. And it's sweeter than honey and it's sweeter than sugar. So you use a little less and it's the lowest on the glycemic index. So it's, it doesn't spike your blood sugar. That's just enough. You use a spoon you can or you use your fingers because I know your hands are clean and I know your mom trusts your fingers. <laughs> that looks so yummy. And it's ready to go on her tray. Okay, girls, that's done. Let's go put the tray together. Well, some of the keys for breakfast in bed, one of the things that I think just makes it so nice and it's simple is just doing a little homemade cards if you're doing, if you're serving someone something special, either, whether it's your own mom, your husband, your wife, your grandparents, anybody, just doing something little and a homemade touch on the tray is great. Happy Mother's Day. We love our mom because she devotes her time to us and she helps us when we need help and she loves us. And the breakfast ideas you just saw came from Dominica's cookbook, Mamalicious. And you can also find additional gift ideas as well as recipes on our website. Well, Lisa Quinn joins me now because we're talking about parenting. That's and true. we've both had that experience. You're still right going through it. in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. All of us.